it's great. Winning is great. That's my first state contest that we've won, so it's a great feeling. We are very proud here at Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo to be able to host this contest. Tractor Tech is a three-part contest. First, you take a written exam over anything from engines to hydraulics to powertrains, electrical, safety. There's all sorts of stuff. After that, you go to components. That's the second part. And they'll have 20 components from an old machine. And they'll have five questions for each one, and you have to answer those. And finally, the fun part, and the part that people actually came to watch, is the debugging on the floor. So. This year we had New Holland tractors and they'll put five bugs in the tractors that we have to find. Me and uh, the two guys that did it with me, we had never even heard of the contest uh, six months ago and our teacher was just like, hey, I think y'all be good at this, you want to try it? This is a very unique tractor technicians contest in the fact that this is the only one FFA sanctioned in the United States. So what this is, this trains technicians for the future for our agricultural industry, which we desperately need in this program that we've started many years ago, and it's transformed into this. We had over 300 students this year that started this program initially and then worked their way up to this final contest. Well, no matter if you're going to go be a tractor technician or you're going to do some other career in, in life, there, there's no shortage of needing to know how to work through a process, how to troubleshoot a, a situation and get to the final result in a positive manner. Yes, you can turn it into a career, and, and certainly that's one of the major outcomes, but besides that, that idea that we can take a problem and, and solve it is one of the key points that we try to get across on this. It's hard, it's fun, but it's worth it in the end. But before this year, I didn't know hardly anything about like engines and tractors. I've learned more than I could ever ask to learn, so I'm walking home with a toolbox full of tools and a plaque, and it's just a great feeling, and it's just it's a lot of good knowledge that will keep with me the rest of my life.